Hey guys, it's Sam. I'm trip to the thrift. You know, trying out one I haven't been to in like two years, so I'll let you know how it goes. We found something good. A little scratched up, but youth foams. Kids ruin them anyway, so parents usually buy them used, so pick up. We have this vintage weekend beach wear swim trunks. $3.99. Um, I'm not sold on the pattern, so I don't know if I'm going to pick it up. They're selling for 20 plus shipping on eBay, but this pattern doesn't look great. Also found this men's Columbia swim trunks. It's $3.99. Large size. They're selling for about $15.20. I might pick it up just for inventory. Legit jersey is just stained and marked up. I found these two vintage women's shorts. They were kind of worn and sizing wasn't great, so I ended up leaving them. Literally just walking in saw this. Ready for this? The best part? This is the best part. Hey guys, it is Sam. I just got back in the car from a thrift. It was really hard to film. There's literally one employee in me in the store and it's like small. So I was trying to film, but like I didn't do a great job. The only things I ended up getting were kid foams. Again, not in great condition, but what, $5 I think I paid? Yeah, $5 for kid foams. These can easily go for like 30 to 40, especially if they're run down. So that was good. Just a youth Under Armour shirt. Um, I make kid bundles. If you get really good like brands and clothes for cheap, you could really make a good profit. This shirt was only two bucks and Under Armour is like really what sells a bundle. So basically the more Under Armour or the more like Nike you have, the higher your bundle's worth. Last but not least, um, I'm sorry I'm holding them up so weird. I'm holding my phone super awkward. Got these Lily shorts. They are a size zero, I believe. Yeah, a size zero. So not a great size, but still awesome. And they were only $3.99. I left behind the Columbia swim trunks because for $4, it's not worth it to make $15 to me to list it, wash it, all that. There was a pair of kids Crocs for $2, which I almost picked up, but I'm not desperate, desperate. Well, I'm kind of desperate. I'm not desperate, desperate for inventory. So I didn't grab those. Kids Crocs honestly sell great, especially if they're in great condition. And then I also saw those vintage shorts that I showed in a clip. They were in the women's section. There was the surf style with the Jason on a beach. If those were men's, I 1000% want to pick them up. I'm not sure if women are super into the vintage, cool surf style look. And the Daytona Beach was kind of ripping off. So for three or four dollars, I didn't think it was worth it. And then there's just another pair of vintage swim trunks that were like women's trunks. So they were super short. And I don't think women are super into the vintage thing. But if they were men's, I would have picked them up. Going on to the next thrift now, I also have some clips from previous trips. So hopefully this will be a good trip to the thrift. And I will see you guys soon. You already know what's going on. on this dope windbreaker, but not for that price. Mm -mm. Virginia starter, but dun dun dun. I don't know why I continue to make these because I never find anything. All the thrifts have been picked over since coronavirus and I've been going back. I give it a week or two before I go back to it again and it's still just not great. So I think all of us are just so cooped up that we're just going to the thrift every day and taking everything. So <sighs> next door, um, I like this one price wise, but I never find anything great if that makes any sense. I'm sure we all have that thrift store. Great prices. Never anything great, probably because everyone comes and gets it as soon as you put it out. But I'll let you know what I find. So I wanted to film and show you guys kind of what the store looks like. It's one of those ones that you have to dig. It's really just organized by color, not sizes, not anything really. I like they obviously try to put some things together. What I was saying about that one on the inside was that it's just super there. It's a great thrift store if you're someone who likes to repurpose stuff or likes like some crazy finds, like if you really like to dig or like any stuff like that but when it comes to like name brands or like reselling it's super hard to find stuff i went through a couple racks and like nothing not one thing yikes super nice Ooh, that's nice not for that price it's not nice now that's cool that's different all over an hour these youth nikes and i'm not even sure i'm gonna get them not for that price Just finished at this thrift store. Someone's getting out of their car next to me. I'm really loving this. They're staring right at me. Okay. Anyways, just finished at this thrift store. I used to find the best stuff here like last summer. 
and then I moved away for school and now COVID hit and now I'm back and it's always so picked over or like super overpriced. Um, I ended up getting nothing. They had some Nike Flyknit trainers and some good Nike, some good Adidas. They had a lot of boosts, but like I'm kind of over boosts. I think other people are too, I'm not sure. Um, but they were just all 12, 15, 20 bucks. And for me personally, that is not a margin I wanna pay to be into. So that's what we got today. Hey guys, the thrifts are really dry right now. I'm trying, I'm still working and studying and schooling and I can only thrift once a week, so. I really just wanted to get a video up. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. But I have a great ship with me coming up soon. I'm just waiting for a couple more sales to come through so I can finish her off. And that'll be up soon too. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And let me know what you want to see.